um, and kind of winning over um, white officers and, and yeah. others. When do you feel like the turning point was for that? When do you think that that, that it Kind of that integrate self integration in a way kind of started to happen at least to, at least to start. Well, for me, for me, it happened when I was a POW. When I got into the POW camp, a couple of weeks later, no, when I walked in, I back up. When I walked into Star Level Three, there were five thousand white officers. Some of the guys had been there two and a half and three years, North Africa and so forth and so on. When I walk in, they see this black man walk in with a, with a bar in his collar and a pair of wings. Where in the hell you come from? You know, the Negroes didn't, didn't fly. But uh, and I was there for, go by and make that thing. <laughs> I was there for a couple of weeks and a B-17 crew came in from the 15th Air Force. They saw me, ran over, no, oh, you're a red tail. Son of a gun, if you had been with us, we wouldn't have been shot down. And it spread out to the whole camp. Automatic, you could see the change of attitude for the rest of the men. But still there's some who are racist. Hey, God damn it, I don't care if you were black or green, you're still a nigger. You know, so. These are the people today. You're not gonna change them, so why fight? To me, I let him go to hell with him. He basically good to God will take care of him down the way. <laughs> Thank you. We'll talk about uh, great white father, Noel Parrish. <laughs> Man who came into Tuskegee Army Airfield and changed the airfield. Because the previous Colonel Kemble was a racist. He said Colonel Kemble had uh, separate theaters and so forth and so on, water fountains. And Colonel Parrish came in, guy out of Texas, went to Rice University, and, and he smoothed everything out. We called him the Great White Father because he, he solved the problem. We believe he sacrificed his career. Wow. He should have been a general officer, but he stayed at Tuskegee Army Airfield. Because he helped us. Oh, yes. By the way, he was born in Kentucky. Born in Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a, the colonel was there before Parrish, the place was segregated. White people would get on the bus and we go to town. The bus would go by and pick up the white people first. Then they would come and pick up the, the black soldiers. Well, we were college soldiers. College. College. Yeah. Well, that's all part before of that, they were Negroes. Then we were colored. Yeah. Then uh, finally come around with the Afro-American. Yeah. So we don't know who we are, but <laughs> we're here. You don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I am me. <laughs> okay, next question. <laughs> yes. Sir.